Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobscliche.org. Just like usually we have, you know, members come on YouTube, comment and need help that I'm not getting a response or things like that. Then we ask them to contact us and basically kind of give us a little bit of information of what's going on. So this is how it started. So here's a story about this member. I'm a U.S. citizen and have been in the U.S. for 13 years. I uh, was doing bachelor's in computer science when I moved to U.S. and family responsibility never could complete my studies. Learned about A plus three years ago uh, and I was in really bad shape at the time, like $35 a day, bad shape. I knew JSS back then. Back then, free courses had plus videos as well, so I got confused and since I couldn't afford to pay for the membership, I left. Long story short, I worked, I worked hard, did a warehouse job, and, uh, and then got into this Spectrum job. If you look at, at my attached resume, it's not because I was perfect candidate. It's just because they need people. Uh, I'm a quick learner, though, learned, uh, learned the trade and hitting my metrics better than most. So after I learned um, a Spectrum job, I visit, revisited your website in July or August, and I was determined, no matter what, I am going to watch all the videos, so so take our free courses, learn, and a lot. I am forever in your depth. Okay, so basically, you're never in my depth. I am doing what I'm doing, basically, and I am basically telling people, if you want to take benefit out of this, then take benefit, and once you get successful, at least come back, either give it to the community, become our member. That is kind of like helping us, and at the same time, you may want to share your skills with other people, so then other people uh, in your situation, like you see how hard your life was when you were making $35, K $35 uh, and you were in this situation you by just giving that information you can make someone life you know totally change their life so that is too big for me and i hope it's uh it's the same for other people so here's how we're gonna start we we are gonna go straight into resume so let's get into your resume now i actually told the member that in the in the email that your resume is actually not good and if you would have taken even our fundamental course or free courses you would have find out that we don't use this format we use a different format which is kind of like our magic format and it works for almost everybody so here your summary the amount of space of in your summary is good but it's still not the, the the way you're representing yourself actually is not good i'm a dynamic motivated person with experience in computer support service representation you see even i'm having trouble just saying that i have strong interest in being involved in promoting services and support team player but can work alone if required team player can work you see the service and support team player you just totally cut me off right there so you see these are the things that people are not going to like. You want to be able to start with something really strong. And I'm going to show you the template. And I'm going to explain that. I Probably you heard it um, um, in many of my other reviews too. Then you went straight to skills and abilities. And you see you have in, in just one line you put professional, customer service driven, organized, efficient, time management, multitasking. I mean that's still not a good way to present your skills. you gotta, you got to put more something. IT. Everybody knows that we know about time management. We know about efficiency efficiency these these are things you know honestly people don't care in it they want they will care when you go to interview and how you respond to them and how you work it they they, they will care about this stuff when you actually start working they don't they don't want to see this kind of stuff uh, all over your resume professionalism customer service all that kind of stuff they want to see what you have what can you bring to the table all right so then of course you went down there say multilingual uh, you know you put can speak English, Urdu, Hindi, and Punjabi. Now, if you're in the U.S., trust me, uh, people are not going to care about Urdu, Hindi, and Punjabi here. So um, that's good if you're putting it, but don't put it right above there because this is what I tell a lot of people, and maybe a lot of people may not like my, my comment on this. You don't want to put too much details out there. You don't want to present yourself like that because you know we we do have a lot of problems. Um, and when and it's I'm not saying about a racism or anything like that. I'm just saying human to human. Don't let people create a whole image about your personality before you even get a chance to meet them.
because as, as soon as you do that 50 percent of the time now you're dependent on that personal personality his thinking of you his thinking of how he is going to now uh, imagine you like okay hindi punjabi hindi punjabi so you know this person is already creating an image about you so that can go either the positive way or the wrong way it's a 50 50 you're making it a 50 50 percent chance for yourself right now you had more higher chances if you don't put too much information about that kind of information demographics type of things right you want to stick to again what they want where you can even if you have all these things later on and they find out that's fine but before that you impress them with it stuff right that's where you are impressing another human being you're doing this whole thing to impress another human being so then he can call you she can call you you can talk to each other and that's where you can then show uh, uh to them that you are really dedicated person then after that you have experience uh shown on your resume which is also not the, not a good way to to present it this way and also the education you didn't put you didn't separate your education with it learning so that's also confusing so again like i said not good so what's good and this is what we provide you this is what we call the master resume that a lot of people who have done our training and landed a job so we know it actually used it's been used and it worked for so many people if this doesn't work then of course you have to do some changes but that's this is how a, a normal simple IT resume should look like summary of qualification you straight to the point success driven result focus and adaptable IT professional remember you're putting something IT related you see how everything has to be centered around IT experience in IT you see technology right here these are the terms that you're using in summary so okay the you at least you did some impression about that you're talking about IT stuff right here then straight to the point straight to the point this is the most important part in this resume people don't read these things uh, you know tiny tiny things windows 7 windows 8 32 bit 64 bit i mean uh, hr manager is not is not an it person they don't care about this stuff if you put that in there okay but this is this is going to help you like i said why we put it here it's going to help you but a person who actually takes your resume most likely is going to be hr or a, a technical recruiters uh, these are the people that are going to be looking at your resume so they are going to be interested in this like i said many times to people you can bring me any advanced certification but if you don't know how to present that certification the knowledge in that certification to be honest my platform is full of these people and you can come in and just write something and people will start responding to you or you can just watch our youtube channel and you'll realize how many people have advanced certification yet they don't have jobs now this is where the focus is here you are going uh, you know, you're showing this to another human now. Like I said, again, human versus human. You're trying to impress another human being. Uh, you have to do something in there, right? So as soon as they see this, okay, ticketing system, we use ticketing system, Office 365, oh, that's what we use for emails. That's kind of like what it is now. Tier 1 level, okay, this person at least know how to use, like, you know, the terms, Tier 1, that's what I'm looking for. Active Directory, yes, that's where all of our user management is. Client and server technology, build in virtual machines. So you see... You're talking about the things that help this is just going to know. You know, these are the things that you know at job. You don't, a lot of people in A plus certification, they don't land jobs because nobody teach them this stuff, right? So they can't even put this stuff on their resume. So when they know and they realize that how important these things are, they, when do they realize basically? They go to interviews, right? And then when they fail interviews, that they realize and come to our platform, hey, you know, I did my A plus, but I don't know all of these things. I mean, they're asking me all of these things in the interview. What do I do? So they, that's where this resume works because it's not just about you putting these things. I mean, of course, you're not going to be, uh, I will never recommend you putting these things without learning the without without learning of course these are the people who have taken on live training or free training or premium training whatever however they did it they did these trainings they don't just put it there because if you do put it what will happen then you get a call the first thing they're seeing is this too right they're gonna ask you okay you put this on your resume it says that office 25 management what do you mean by this and people have to explain that even if they say I, I never worked in the job, at least they say I did a whole training and the training is just like a real job. Basically, we learn about licenses. We learn about adding a user. We learning about tracking email. You see now when you start talking about these things, the person already know, even if you didn't have an experience, that's where you're you're basically now uh, making a point right there that I'm different than normal, just normal college student. 
who got an A plus and came to interview. I'm no, I'm not, I'm not basic person. I have done my research here. I have done some effort, and that's what people are looking into you because they want that passion. They want someone to be into IT for them to be taking on these jobs because these jobs are not just normal A B C D type of jobs. You need to work in this job, and these jobs are very beneficial in t- in terms of long term career. Like four years, three years, people have jumped to 90k, 100k, and that, that that's not because they were sitting on the chair. That's because they knew how to do things. They knew how to actually go uh, after some uh, learning and some using some resources. And that's what they did. So then you come down to skills. And this is where then you put all these technical things. Now, you impressed an HR person, HR person called IT person, IT manager, that, hey, I found a person who has a really neat resume. I think you should look into it. And a technical recruiter will say the same thing. And then the, when the resume uh, reached to the IT professional who's going to be a part of your interview, that's where they are, okay, he knows about Zoom, he knows about Zuhu, he knows about CCM, PDQ. These are the tools that we're using. Even the system, sysadmins are using these tools. So they get impressed that, man, wherever, this person is trained they trained him correctly because now internally they're happy they're like they're talking to each other that we don't need to train this person like we were going to train the first person you see they talk like that these, these are internal communication that i'm telling you right now a person will pick up a, 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 a resume with just a plus and the person will know that okay this person just did a paper certification this person do, doesn't know anything because we did our interview an interview we find out that first person have no clue so we have to teach everything but the person is pretty good we'll still hire him if the second person uh, doesn't do well so the second person comes in and let's say that's you and you bring this something like this and now like okay now we don't even have, we, we don't have any other option we're going to go for this person why because no one wants to now teach these days i mean come on i spend 12 13 hours in my live training and still i tell people that this 13 hours is not going to make you it professional you still have to do a lot of other training which we are going to guide you but that's the reality i am an sysadmin i am a it professional i run a company in it i know how hard this is and people don't take on these things they're not going to give you for free labs for free they're not going to give you their servers for free you need to invest and that's where people are not going to be, uh, you know, open to you. So what do they tell you? What what does a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there, what do they do? They say, go take A+, plus. go take Security+, plus. that's the first certification you should start. Now, they're not wrong. That's how everybody starts. But that's where the problems also start with a lot of people that is too wide open. Like people just doesn't know where to go then. So you either have to learn it the hard way or you learn it the smart way. Now, you need to follow these right here that's this is how it should look academic qualifications should come under this and your it certification should come under this to make them even impress more that we oh we got we got certification but let's say you're taking free courses you don't need to put these these uh, uh you know certification codes in there or if you're taking other training then then i suggest you put it there you put it there and then let's say comptia a plus you should say pending you know don't just say future then i'm taking it pending comptia a plus is pending if you have finished it put a plus in there now I'm never telling people that A plus is a is a bad certification. It's a good certification as long as you can utilize it. Along as long as you can ask a question to that instructor that in this A plus I've learned this. How do I do? How do I apply this information at my work? And will it cover some other things like Active Directory, Ticketing, Office 365? And they're gonna probably say no. Then of course you can do your research. But at least you know then you know you know how to how to kind of navigate your resume, right? So this is what you need to do. Now, practically, you're going to probably ask me, where do I start? Where do I get this resume? Now, this resume is available to everybody in this platform. So when you go to the community, and you even if you log in with a free membership right here, you will click on this uh, resume help and resume builder. You're going to click on that, and you can download this sample right from here. You're going to click on it, download it. Make sure you check the spellings and things like that and fix it. But this is where you download them. Now, if you're thinking that how would I learn all of these things, of course, you can go to the, the main site. On the main site, you can see these are the main courses that are available for free, but they're old. We have already said that in 2017. We don't we don't uh, update out these courses anymore, but they're still powerful. If you're really, really interested in doing things and you want to finish everything, then of course, it's going to be always live training. That is, the, that is the main training that we provide, and that's where we spend almost two months or almost three months with someone to make you an IT professional. 
professional. It's not going to be an easy task. You have to be extremely dedicated person to take that kind of training. And you you will become, this is kind of like a step-by-step -step process. It's like you going to a gym, you're working out with a trainer, and we have a goal for you. We have uh, plan, uh, made a whole diet plan for you, everything for you. So that's where it works. But if you think that you can do it yourself, then you take the fundamental course, the IT fundamental, which is our new way of doing it. Then, of course, you have to use your own sense a little bit uh, by using the labs that it provides, by using the uh, partner portal video courses that we provide. So, it's of course, it's none, none, none of this is going to be free. Even free courses are not free. Why? Because you're investing your time in there. Your time is probably more important than the money that you're investing here. So that's where you need to make a decision that what do you want to do in your, how do you approach this? It's a pretty big career i mean it's not something you can just do in a few days it requires a huge amount of de dedications for you to be able to take on jobs like help desk like these where you just go to the description and you can say okay at least i know the the 60 70 percent of these things that the rest they're not looking for that the, m the most important thing is that you should be able to sell this resume you should be able to talk about this resume everything that you put in that resume that we are giving you you should be comfortable with that and then that's the point you realize that you're ready for the jobs now, like I said to many people, again, that you can shoot out your resume. Don't just go by my word like right here. Yeah, you can shoot out your resume, any other resume. People may come to our YouTube videos and comment, no, I had a total different resume. I didn't put anything. I just put a CompTIA A+, plus and I got the job. But that's not, that's not what we're doing here. You will get a job. I told people that even if you don't put a resume, if you know someone in IT, and they will get you the job. That's how it works too. You may go to Craigslist and people will give you the job. They will train you. But the problem is how long will it take you to learn these skills to move up to sysadmin, to network engineer positions and stuff like that. Again, you can do it the hard way. You can do it the smart way. Decision is yours. Thank you.